Uh, everybody knows about Hamilton and knows obviously it's got history and you can see the themes in it and it's easy to see social justice from Hamilton, the way it's cast, the way it's written. What about plays that are just for fun? I mean, you did Mamma Mia and not to say that there aren't serious parts of it, but like most people think of Mamma Mia as like, oh, it's the music of ABBA. Like I'm here to have a good time. Like how are you delivering social justice or delivering a serious message when you're just on the stage doing something fun like Mamma Mia? Well, it's funny because I've directed Mamma Mia twice since okay. I since I uh, was do I did it I've done it many many times um, I've done I think six productions of Mamma Mia, um, which is wild, um, and what I as a director what I tell the the artists that are in that my cast, I tell them that some people come for the ABBA. They come for the, the the party. They come for the disco music. You know that that type of feel. But you'll you'll always find those people who are leaving crying because they understand what it's like to have a. They understand the mother daughter relationship that's embedded in the show. They also love how um, the 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 women do not rely on the men. They're actually, I, they actually steal a lot of the show and it's just so fierce to see fierce and strong women in the show um, because you don't come across that very often in musical theater. It's the, the woman is always playing the, uh, the damsel in distress or they need the man to, and then they end up with the man and then that's the show. But this show is just all about like the women driving the show and it's so incredible. Very cool. All right. I'm yeah. going to go bro Broadway nerd on you here. I got to ask this question again, sports stuff in my background. Forget that people who don't, people who know me know that I'm a huge Broadway nerd. Um, favorite role that you have played and then role that like dream role of a, of a certain uh, cast that you'd love to play. I will say my favorite role that I got to play there's two of them. Um, in college, I played Angel and Rent, um, and that was awesome. That was so much fun. Western Carolina had such an incredible Rent production of Rent. Um, we actually had uh, a Broadway cast member um, come down to North Carolina and direct the show, which was brilliant. Um, second role that I thought was really fun to play. Uh, it was fun to be the villain for a little bit in Hamilton on Broadway. I played George Eaker. Yes. He's the one who kills the son at the end. <laughs> so I it was really interesting for me to be that person walking out of the stage door at night and people are clapping. And then there's those, the, 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 the younger audience members were like, Oh my God, he's the one who killed the son at the, you know what I mean? So to be that villain, if you will, um, a, 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 a role that I would love to play. Um, and who knows, maybe I'll play it when, once things open back up, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I would love to play Simba in The Lion King. Um, that would be so awesome. And um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Is there a performance of that that you saw that you were like, when you saw it, you were like, I want to do that? Um, I've seen it before because I had a friend who a friend who was in it and that was the first time I saw it but I've also been in for it a lot I've also auditioned for it a lot and been seen for the show um, and it's just one of those things where you kind of just have to wait your turn um, and then you know now that things are happening in the world where Broadway is closed who knows maybe that'll be my turn will be for won't be for a long time but I'm I'm hopeful I'm very oh. excited. <laughs>